the tropical ocean, I will have just 100 days to transform my island into the most valuable treasure island in all of the seven seas. I'll be looting treasure-filled ships, facing dangerous pirate captains, exploring mysterious islands, and even battling a gigantic kraken. Will I become the richest pirate that ever lived? Let's find out. A1 was extremely intense. I was being chased by a pirate, and they did extreme amounts of damage. Already losing half of my hearts, I had to get out of here. The only way I was getting off this island was with a wooden raft, so I headed towards the tree and started grabbing some wood. But I didn't have much time. He was closing in. Just three logs. That was enough. I then headed towards the ship. I saw some barrels, so I grabbed some stuff. I even managed to steal a gold ingot. I then sprinted away. He was going to kill me. I had to hurry. I noticed there was a crafting table, so using the materials I grabbed from the barrels, I made myself a wooden raft. It was time to confidently walk the plank. The pirate was closing in, but it was time to get out of here. I placed my raft down and started floating away. Yeah, I managed to escape. I'll send every pirate I know after you, lad. You'll regret coming here. <laughs> The furious pirate had no choice but to watch as I paddled away. I couldn't believe I'd escaped, but I had took a lot of damage. So there I was, stranded in the middle of the ocean, and you're probably wondering why this dude was even chasing me in the first place. Well, you see, this is Pirate Cove, home of the pirates that will be hunting me down for the next 100 days. Why, you ask? Well, you see that big red X? Underneath that is some of the most insane pirate loot in all of the seven seas. Cannon guns, treasure, all of it. And I was so close. But then I got caught and had to sprint away. And here I am looking for somewhere to stay. As day one continued, I finally came across a small stranded island. So I headed over with my raft, hopped off and took a look around. Limited resources, I know, but I knew I could make this place my home. I noticed on the floor there was an unlit campfire and I had a little bit of fish left. So I lit that bad boy up. But before I could get started, cooking, somebody in the distance was coming towards me on a raft. But before we find out what happens, let's talk about my sponsor, Monster Legends. Monster Legends is a free-to-play mobile game available on Android and iOS. There are hundreds of different monsters to collect, all with different rarities and elements. You can even breed different monsters together to create cool new species, like this little dude. You can even level your monster up, pick their skills, and head into the PvP arena and battle your friends in real time. One of the coolest features is the YouTuber Island, where you can find monsters created in collaboration with some of the biggest YouTubers. We're talking Dream, ZHC, even Vanos, Laserbeam, and many more. And for the first time ever, there's a YouTuber challenge. If you download the game today, all new players get a chance at winning the monster YouTubers completely free. I want to help you get the best start ever, so click the link in my description before March the 3rd and get some of the best rewards ever. 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, 10 gems, and this epic monster, Kaori. You can thank me later. Now let's find out what that dude on the raft wanted. Please don't tell anybody I'm here. I'm hiding from pirates. Oh, it's you they're hunting for. Well, boy, if you give me one gold coin, I'll keep your secret. Thank you so much. You can have me fishing rug too, me laddie. It'll help you get resources. I acted quickly. I punched down the tree and made myself a full set of basic tools. I then grabbed some stone, crafted a furnace, and started smelting up that gold ingot I grabbed into the gold coin. I exchanged it for both a fishing rod and secrecy. Thank you, strange man. Luckily, the tree dropped a sapling, so I planted that bad boy down and spent most of the night fishing. Day two consisted of pretty much the basics. Get the food, cook the food, eat the food, get more food. Rinse and repeat. And then I crafted myself a chest so I could store all of the food I was getting. And that's pretty much it. I took a look around the area, saw some pretty beautiful sights. I mean, check out this whale. Hello. I also spotted some coal, but as you can see, well, I can't breathe underwater and I can't mine that fast. So this was proving to be quite the challenge. I had no choice but to mine the very little space I had just so I could craft basic tools. But then I was ambushed. A drowned spider. It doesn't look intimidating, but it did a ton of damage. Leaving me with just half a heart, I had no choice but to swim away. Whilst I was restoring my health, the jungle sapling grew into a beautiful tree. Lightning struck. It was all very intense. I chopped up the tree killed the spider and then prayed for a sapling while I chopped into the leaves. I had the worst luck ever. The more leaves I chopped, the more worried I became. Yep, no saplings. I couldn't believe it. This journey just got extremely difficult. 
Using the last few planks I had, I crafted some doors, headed underwater, and started creating air pockets in hopes to find a cave. The deeper I swam, the more luck I had. I got to work collecting as many ores as possible, but peace and quiet ended when a skeleton struck me with its arrow, leaving me with just one heart. I sprinted away as fast as possible. Using my Kenobi instincts, I took the high ground, but it was just too risky. I didn't want to lose my life. I managed to find some iron. I crafted a furnace, rapidly smelted the resources, and crafted a shield, but not even that was enough to save me. I was hit once again. Half a heart. Things were getting intense. I had to escape. Is there something in my eye? <laughs> I chipped away at stone and chewed through many different ores. I even crafted an iron pickaxe. With just half a heart, I had to find my way home as fast as possible. Once I made it back, I crafted a full set of iron armor so I would be more protected for the future. I then did some fishing and then utilized my campfire to cook up the fish and finally regain some health. Oh. I then got to work on a very complicated build. This'll do for now. I crammed as much as I could in this room and then I crafted myself a boat because tomorrow on day five, I want to head out and do some exploring because I can store stuff in my boat. Day five rolled around and it was time to go exploring. I jumped in my boat and headed as far away from my island as possible. Breathed in that sea air and finally came across a small island. I didn't think anybody was on it till I approached it. And I did try and negotiate with these guys, but the castaways were just too interested in beating me over the head with paddles. I was on one and a half heart. I dived into the water and tried to create some space between us. But then I noticed he was trying to steal my boat. So I had to take him out and then finish off the others. Loot-wise, I was pretty lucky as I found a diamond. A small step in becoming the richest in all of the seven seas. I noticed there was another little island, so I stored my stuff on the boat and then stole pretty much everything I could see on this island, including the seeds, because that would mean I could get some food. I then headed over to another island not too far away and decided to investigate. More castaways, and these guys were pretty aggressive, but using my axe, I managed to strike them down. These guys were sort of having trouble falling through the hole, so it made it pretty easy taking them out. Once I climbed into the watchtower, I opened up the chest. Inside was loads of gold and illager nuggets, which I can use to craft pirate pistols. I then grabbed a bunch more wood, hopped in my boat, and traversed the beautiful seas until I finally made it home. An intense few days indeed, but I had a long way to go and a lot planned, including getting a ton of treasure and also crafting a giant ship, because once I make it to Pirate Cove, I'll need plenty of space to store all of that treasure I collect from the hidden vault. However, I've been dodging drowned and sharks all whilst collecting materials because, yep, you guessed it, time to get building. A solid few days. Making the most of limited resources, I had the build finished, and then I got to work planting the very little seeds I had, so I had an unlimited food source. I then made some more gold coins, and then, whoa, whoa, what is that? Oh no, the pirates have found me. I had to act fast. I crafted myself an iron sword and headed out. But the sleepless nights had attracted phantoms. I had to deal with these guys first. These stealthy night walkers were working in unison to dive bomb me. But with combination of my sword and shield, I managed to deflect their hits, taking them out one by one. The final squad swooped in, but they were no match for me and my sword. The warship had clearly anchored, so I took advantage and the next day headed in on my boat. I was preparing for the worst. I steadily scaled the side of this wooden beast. When I reached the top, a cannoneer holding a pistol began firing at me, and with no hesitation, he knocked me off, but then he dived in after me. My shield could only withstand so much, and he started to do serious damage. I thought this was the moment I would lose my life until I was saved by a shark. A shark began attacking the pirate, and he became occupied. This was my moment. With just one heart left, I began to swim away. A successful second attempt. I made it on the boat, but I was met with skeleton pirates. The ultimate sword fight began to play out. With the deck now cleared, it was time to head deeper into this ship. I didn't know what to expect, but it definitely wasn't this. An entire army of pirates was waiting for me. They began to level my shield with bullets. I sprinted away and tried to hide in the corner. There was just too many of them. The pirates' sporadic gunfire ended up damaging each other, leaving me with just one pirate to face. 
He tried to take me out with his pistol, but using my sword and shield, I defeated him. Like, seriously, I cannot believe I survived that. I make a good pirate. I seem to have found myself in some sort of treasure room, and as I opened the chests, it revealed gold coins. I also found resources like sand, but I could still hear enemies, so it was time to head back up top and clear the rest of the ship. I battled fiercely to defeat the remaining pirates, but nothing could stop me from being jumped by a creeper. Man, that was a close one. I got to work raiding the ship, even grabbed myself some wool, then headed down to have a proper good look at the treasure room. I grabbed some pretty cool stuff like this bone cutler's sword, but the best part was the tree saplings. You have no idea how badly I need saplings, so finding this was a godsend. I continued to investigate and found a map inside a chest. More treasure, it seems, or maybe even a clue on how to get back to Pirate Cove. I continued to look around the ship when I came across this room filled with TNT and a little parrot. It seems the pirates had captured him here, so I tamed him with a little bit of seed, but then things went bad quickly. Lightning had struck the boat. It was on fire, and with all this TNT, I'd have to get out of here fast. I tried to mine it all, but I just didn't have time. It was time to evacuate. I leapt from the ship and waited for my new little friend. I got out of there as fast as possible and watched as the entire ship set ablaze. The TNT had caught fire and a giant explosion erupted. I quickly crafted a bed, placed it inside my house, and got a good night's rest. And the parrot too. Day 21 was here, so I was working on my island. I made a little perch for my parrot, which by the way, you can give him a name if you like. I then built a small area where I could plant my saplings and watch trees grow, and then made a small expansion on the island with some wooden walkways. And I could also leave my boat here too. I then got a good night's rest because on day 23, I geared up and went strip mining. Now, if you're a fan of the channel, you know how much I love my strip mining. So I got to work collecting as many ores as I possibly could until I finally found diamonds. Oh, look at it. Beautiful. Amazing. That little twinkly sound. It just never gets old. I strip mined for days collecting resources. I even came across these weird looking rooms filled with mobs and crystals. There was so much loot too. After looting all the chests, I really liked the stone bricks on the wall, so I decided to mine pretty much the entire room. When I returned home, I crafted a full set of diamond armor ready to head out to that treasure island. I was hoping to get some sort of map or clue on how I can find my way back to Pirate Cove. I voyaged across the tropical ocean day and night, looting everything I could find, fighting mobs, but then I was ambushed by an entire gang of drowned. One of them was launching their trident at me, but I managed to take them all down, and I picked up a trident in the process. Pretty lucky if you ask me. Day 45, I almost died because a shark managed to get inside my boat. Like, what are the chances of that? Like, please explain that to me. <laughs> I finally made it, the first island. It was colossal in size, with broken shipwrecks covered all over the mountains. I was pretty intimidated. I approached the shore, and I quickly noticed there were pirates everywhere. They were well armed and well prepared. They knew I was coming. I almost had my life taken once my shield was destroyed, but I managed to create some distance, and they ended up falling in the gap. Things did get pretty intense though when this one captain got me down to one and a half hearts. It was a pretty close one. I finally came across some sugar cane, so I kept it for later. And then it was getting too dark and too dangerous, so I headed inside the side of the mountain and stayed for the night. Tomorrow I'd go treasure hunting. Day 47, our first sign of treasure. But as I approached, I was ambushed by this mantis thing that kept setting me alight. I had to battle it. I felt bad killing the little critter, but gotta do what I gotta do. I broke through the X and fell into the hole. There was definitely treasure here. When I opened the chest, I saw a pirate hat, health potions, and a bunch of gold ingots. It wasn't the best treasure I'd ever seen, but it was definitely a great start on this journey. At least I look like a pirate now, because the hat's pretty cool. The chest disintegrated to obsidian. I continued to traverse the island, dodging giant snakes, which I also hate, by the way. I noticed a bunch of pirates at the top of the mountain, so I began to scale the shipwrecked structure in hopes to find any clues about Pirate Cove. When I made it to the top, they were waiting for me, carrying giant cannons which obliterated anything it touched. I cleared the area as fast as possible, knocking enemies off the side and watching as they fall. I finally found a chest. This must have been what they were protecting. I opened the chest to find another map. When I looked, it was another island containing treasure. One step closer to our final goal. Then I was ambushed. A giant cannon had hit me, leaving me with half a heart, but I didn't want to waste a health potion, so I used my shield. I was deflecting his hit successfully until he made a grave mistake. Ah! 
See you later, buddy. I noticed in the distance another pirate ship. This must have been the captain that sent these pirates after me, so I headed down to face him. If you're enjoying the content so far, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. On that ship was one of the captains that was sending pirates after me. I managed to get up top and prepare for a stealthy attack, but then... I can hear you, lad. I know you're here. My cover was blown, so I jumped down with a water bucket and decided to face the captain. His cannons did extreme amounts of damage, but I headed in with my sword and started striking. The captain was powerful, and his cannon packed a punch, almost killing me in one single blow. I had to create some distance. Things turned south pretty quickly, though, when he hit me with his cannon and left me with just half a heart. I had to choose my next moves intelligently. I decided to race to the bottom of the boat. I threw down a health potion and then used the maze-like interior to dodge the cannon shots, but it wasn't enough. He managed to hit me and get me down to just half a heart once again. I had to flee. My heart was absolutely pounding, and he was chasing after me. One hit and it was all over. I managed to sneak outside, eat some food, and head back in. I was deflecting the hits. It was doing a lot of damage, but then he broke my shield. I had to think fast. I ran to the lower deck of the boat. It seemed to be some sort of armory. I dug my way out the bottom of the boat and swam out to sea, but it didn't stop him. This captain was relentless. He fired his cannon at me, creating space. I used it to my advantage. I mined my way back into the ship and found a pirate gun and some ammo. The boat was clearly carrying a weapon shipment, so I used it to my advantage, took all of the ammo I could, headed out and started firing my pirate pistol at the captain. It did severe amounts of damage. We had a shootout between each other, when finally... I defeated the captain. He dropped a ton of loot. I couldn't believe I defeated him. He left a colossal amount of XP and loot. I headed back to the boat and grabbed all of the chests I could, ready for a project back at home. An extremely intense few days, but it was time to head back. Hey there, little buddy. I miss you too, little guy. <laughs> I planted some sugar canes, and then I had the idea to build a storage room for all my treasure. Let's get to work. I dedicated some time to building a small wall around my island. It gave the island a sort of textured feel and looked really nice. I continued to make visual improvements, including a big red X. A63, I was visited by the wandering trader, but I had to kill his llamas for the leads. Sorry, bro. And then went to the storage facility that I had built and stored all of my treasure inside. I was feeling pretty rich at this point, but I was nowhere near being the richest in all of the seven seas. I'll have to get back to Pirate Cove for that. Day 64 and I wanted to visit the new island, so I crafted myself a brand new boat. It was definitely an upgrade, it had a ton of storage and even had sails this time. Day 65 couldn't come quick enough. I grabbed my map, jumped in my boat and set sail. It was time to find that treasure. I sailed day and night in search for this treasure island. There was no doubt that there were going to be pirates and captains waiting for me. I approached the shore. This island was gigantic. It was incredible. I approached the shore, but it was eerily quiet. I began to mine my way through the marking, and as I fell in, it was filled with snakes. I was absolutely terrified. Oh, I hate snakes. I hate them so much. I can't believe they managed to get in here. After defeating the snakes, I opened the chest to see a bunch of treasure, health potions, and a sword that gave me special abilities by channeling the power of the seven seas. I decided to wait in my boat overnight, and when I woke up, it seems a bunch of pirates were transporting TNT. I decided to use my pirate pistol like a sniper, picking long-range shots, but then they were closing in. I used the ability of the sword to create distance. It's easier to get away from threats, but they can still catch you off guard. I decided to investigate where the skeleton pirates were coming from, but the door wouldn't open, so I used my sword to hop on top and see if I could get over. I noticed two bomber pirates, but the strangest thing happened. They just started throwing bombs at each other. Like, bro, what are you doing? You're meant to be fighting me. I channeled the power of the sea to hop to the other building and then use my pirate pistol to take him out. I was certainly earning my reputation as a deadly pirate. Inside the building seemed to be a full set of pirate armor. It was incredible. I put it on and I looked amazing. Ha ha ha. I knew you would fall for it. The entire Seven Seas has been looking for you, boy. You're coming with me. What the? You're getting locked away in the prison. Your stuff's in the chest and you ain't getting it back. I couldn't believe it. I had been captured. The captain stunned me and forced me into a cell. 
I had no idea how I was going to get out of here alive. They made me stay an entire night until a giant kraken had attacked the boat. The captain came running. A kraken just ate my entire crew. I'm gonna need you, lad. I can't face it alone. But why should I help you? <laughs> I'll let you go free. I mean, I'd rather stay here than be eaten by a kraken, though. Please, I'll give you the map to Pirate Cove. I know that's what you've been looking for. Deal. An unlikely team, but a team nonetheless. I grabbed my stuff from the chest and prepared to fight. Army matey. The Kraken was too far to reach, so we dropped a boat, jumped off the ship, and leapt in. We closed in on the tentacled beast and began shooting. Arr! We unloaded bullet after bullet into the Kraken. It was furious. It began attacking us. We paddled the boat as fast as we could to get away. One hit with that sword. It'll take the Kraken out. The captain was right. With my seven seas cutlass, I would be able to get close enough and channel the power to defeat this beast. We battled for days on end. Its colossal tentacles obliterated anything in its path. But this Kraken knew its fate. It began to fluster in panic. And with a strike of my sword, I defeated the beast with the power of the seven seas. I swam to the surface, out of breath. I was exhausted. I picked up the loot. I guess it's time to head back to the captain. Thank you so much. Because of you, my entire ship is saved. You're the best pirate that I've ever seen in all of the Seven Seas. Now, as promised, here's the map to Pirate Cove. But be careful. It's extremely dangerous, and they're also expecting you. Oh, and don't let anyone know that I gave you that map. Good luck, me laddie. Now get out of here quick, before I change my mind. The captain had given me exactly what I needed, the map to Pirate Cove. I headed home and headed straight for my storage facility. I wanted to store all of the pirate treasure I'd collected so far. I checked on my sugar canes, grabbed some wood, and crafted an enchantment table ready to build. I wanted a really simple, open plan build where I could really appreciate the ocean when I looked out. I was pretty impressed with the final result. I was really proud of everything I'd accomplished so far. My island looked pretty great. I put down my enchantment table but realized I didn't have any blue lapis, so I quickly went and grabbed some of that, headed back and enchanted all of my items. I was prepared to head to Pirate Cove. I was so excited. This time I was fully prepared for a pirate battle. It took me a while to find the island and I was coming across all sorts of different loot on the way when finally I made it. Nobody's gonna be chasing me away this time. I headed in and started firing. There was a lot of pirates waiting for me, but I was more than prepared. Using my Seven Seas Cutlass and my pirate pistol, I defeated everybody defending the treasure. Despite a small army, I expected a lot more pirates. It seemed that everybody had left, except one, Captain Agmer. It was time to battle. It seemed he had stayed to defend Pirate Cove. The rest had fleed, knowing I was the deadliest. I tactically hopped, skipped, and jumped over the captain, blocking his hits with my shield and returning with a slice of my blade. With every hit, he dropped treasure. It was incredible. The captain persevered. He was ruthless. He was relentless. He wouldn't stop at nothing. But he was no match for the channeled power of the Seven Seas. The captain fought well, but with one final strike, he was defeated. He dropped a ton of treasure. I picked all of it up. He even dropped a totem of undying. But now it was time to head into the vault of treasure. I was so excited. It's all led to this moment. I mined through. Oh my goodness, it was a drop. Wow, the totem saved me. This place was incredible, but there was an alligator waiting for me. I dodged his snapping jaws and held up my shield. The poor crocodile stunned himself. This place was absolutely incredible. It was filled with treasure from top to bottom. When I opened the chest, it was absolutely crammed with treasure. There was even chests filled with cannons and cannonballs. I grabbed all of the ores and as much treasure as I possibly could. And then I ate the golden banana, which gave me a bunch of health. I grabbed a bunch of these crates. A bunch? I guess you could pardon the pun. <laughs> I managed to mine my way out and finally reached the surface. I waited till the next morning and did a little bit of exploration of the cove, but there was nobody here. It was empty. I couldn't believe it. All that was left was a few angry endermen, which was pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. But I used my 7C sword and my cannon to completely obliterate them. <laughs> I was absolutely ecstatic. We had conquered Pirate Cove. I headed home. I stored all of my treasure and then began to change my island. I wanted to show off how rich I was by replacing a lot of my wood with gold blocks. Not that I'm a show off or anything. To be fair, I don't even care. I'll throw all my treasure in the sea. This was a complete waste of time. You know, I don't even... Okay, I take that back. I take that back. 
I can't believe I just did that. We did it. We completed the 100 days. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Don't forget, click the link in the description before March the 3rd to claim your awards on Monster Legends. Peace.